<laughs> All right. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, jeez. So, yeah, for anyone who may have noticed, I had to, like, I started stream earlier, like, at noon, like I usually do. Uh, but had to stop because, uh, I noticed some things that weren't working. Uh, just go right over to game capture. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, Windows had an update for my computer, which I, I let happen this morning. And for whatever fucking reason, the update broke all of my sound settings. Like, all of them. So, like, it, it reset, like, base stuff, and then also stuff in Streamlabs got fucked up a little bit. Like, it wasn't detecting my mic. It had, like, switched my mic to, like, default random setting. Um, and it had stopped listening to my capture card, so there was no, like, audio when I turned on, like, the PS5 and stuff. So I had to reset all of that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fun. I don't know how the fuck Windows broke that bad, cause any other time, you know, I've done a Windows update, nothing like that has happened, so, yeah, fun. Because of like, you know, stuff breaking, I'm gonna take a quick minute to kind of look at things and make sure everything else is still good. I'll uh, jump into the game low. Okay, just looking and everything appears to be good. Uh yeah. Cool. Uh all right. So, I think last time we left off, I finished all of World 2, essentially, all the bosses there and everything. Uh, made a little side trip to Volataria to save Yuria, the witch, because she had a powerful uh, fire spell I could learn from her. Uh, defeated the second boss in... The tower area, which was the man eaters, and now we'll be heading to world four again. I think. Hold on, I'm looking. Yeah, world four, part two. Which is here, ritual path. The adjudicator bestows tokens of heroism upon the deserving dead. 
who are delivered by shadowmen to the depths of the Shrine of Storms, where they are cleansed by bright water and borne by the storm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I already real quick deleted that, like, I don't know, it's like, what at most, five minute, six minute stream <laughs> before I realized so many things were broken. Uh, and then, on Twitch anyway, I still have to delete it on kick to figure out how to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so far everything looks like it's running fine. Thank you. Oh, wait. Right, I'm human. I, I forgot. Uh, fuck. I gotta go jump off a ledge before I do this. I don't want to mess up my world state. Right now I go back here. Hello there, we meet again. We do. You look terrible. Cheer up. Life is an adventure. <laughs> uh, you know anything good for me? Let's see. Ooh, he sells poison kunai. I'm actually, I don't need them now, but I am going to need these in the future. I'm just gonna buy a bunch. There's somebody I ought to warn you about. A fella who lacks common decency. They call him Patches the Hyena. Uh -oh. <laughs> and he's the one that laid that trap for me. He's yeah. the kind of person who'd stab his own mother in the back. If you happen to spot him, you'd do us all a favor by putting him out of his misery. Right, yeah, that, that sounds about right. That does definitely sound like Patches. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm just uh, check, checking a uh, video and everything, like making sure stuff looks fine on the stream. Okay. 
Yeah, it seems like the only things that got messed up <laughs> when Dim Windows updated, for whatever reason, were my my sound settings. Have you been to the altar where the Reapers summon shadows? Well, I think someone may be trapped in the lower cavity. I heard them praying for dear life. They did a poor fool. He probably fell from one of Patch's old tricks. Oh. I'm guessing that's a uh, Saint Urbane, right? His patches did kick him down a hole. <laughs> Pity the poor fool. Okay. Well done. Good day. Be sure not to get yourself killed. I will do my best. Alright. Uh, so we gotta probably rescue Saint Urbane somewhere in here. Skeleton Reapers, uh, summoning spirits. Fantastic. <laughs> As if this location couldn't get any worse. Uh, alright. So I think with these guys, they keep coming back because they're like their spirits. And the only way I stop them from coming back is by killing the skeletons, the reapers down there. Which I wonder if I can, uh, Oh, oh, well, I'm just down here now. I just look here. <laughs> I didn't mean to go down the steps like that. Way more damage with fire than the, the spirit arrow. Okay, that makes sense. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Use fire instead. Got it. Uh, I got a war scythe. I think that's their weapon. Uh, yeah, that can go to storage though. So that leads outside. Did I miss anything when I kind of like fell down the stairs? There's stones leading in here. Oh look, it's Patches. Hmm. Yeah, we'll talk to you in a moment. <laughs> I already have a bad feeling <laughs> about what you're probably going to do. <laughs> All right, let's see. I thought I saw... I do see a thing for arrows to shoot out, so there are traps I have to worry about. Okay, I have to come up the stairs on the other side to get that, I guess? Which if that's the case, I'm just gonna <sighs> drop right down here.
Oh, I gotta remember too, there are like the secret goals and stuff in this area as well. Yeah, gotta be on the lookout for those. that put me Is there an item? No, there's a path over here. Huh. Oh, crystal wizard. Uh I gotta be careful not to hit him off the lid. Otherwise, I can't pluck the loot from him. Oh, well, yeah, he's gone. Actually, I wonder if, uh. If I exit real quick and come back, if it drops him on the ledge where I killed him instead. If it does it, then just whatever that lizard drops is just gone for good. <laughs> Unfortunately. No, I didn't, okay. Oh well. Huh. It's all the way back to the start. Okay. So, patches, what kind of, uh, sketchy thing do you have in store for me? Oh, hello again. Hey, don't turn a cold shoulder. I didn't mean to do you. Uh-huh. Really? <laughs> I doubt it. We've got better things to fret about. That pit there is filled with treasure. Oh, is it? Uh, I'm having a little trouble getting to it myself. Uh, go on, take a look. There are more riches than you could dream of. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this like the exact same thing or like very similar to what he says in Dark Souls 1? There, there's treasure down that hole, but I can't reach it. Maybe you can get it, adventurer. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My ass! Don't hold it against me, eh? Take your time starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket of your corpse. <laughs> Oh, patches. Uh... I noticed... There is... 
probably a very angry samurai over there. Oh, whoops, forgot to mute my phone again. Right, yeah. <laughs> this, honestly, this feels exactly like what happens in Dark Souls 1. He kicks you down a hole after saying there's treasure down there. There's a saint praying. One of the saint's companions has turned mad. <laughs> Very similar. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, no worries. Uh, I actually had technical issues at the... I had to stop stream and restart it because uh, Windows had an update today and for whatever fucking reason the Windows update broke all of my sound settings. So I had to, I had to reinstate my mic as, you know, the main audio mic, uh, both, you know, in Windows itself and also in Streamlabs because it broke there for whatever reason. Uh, and then I had to have Windows re-listen to the PS5, the capture card device, in order for the sound to come through <laughs> on my computer and get, like, picked up. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like any other Windows update I had never fucked with my audio, but this one broke everything for whatever reason. So, yeah. Right. Well, I noticed right away because it's like... Right when I turned on the PS5, usually I, I immediately, I hear like the sound through my headphones and it was just silence. So I immediately knew something was wrong. And then I was checking and it's like also my mic wasn't like the bar in Streamlabs or the audio bar was not moving. It was like not lighting up at all. So I knew something was wrong with that too. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so yeah. Luckily, it didn't take too long to fix everything once I figured out there were problems, but it's still annoying. Okay, I wonder how difficult you're going to be to kill. walking out of the way of my stuff. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. It literally, like, broke all, all my sounds on these. I don't understand it. <laughs> there, thankfully, uh, there are plenty of <laughs> Really short, quick YouTube videos, because I couldn't fully remember how to, what settings I had to mess with to get uh, my computer to listen to the capture card, essentially listen to the PS5. And luckily there are a lot of short, real quick YouTube videos that are like, you go in these settings and you click on this and you do this. And I was just like, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he's the only red phantom that's down here. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of the aforementioned phantom? Uh, God I did. has chosen you. And for that we are thankful. Umbasa. Uh, right, yeah, Umbasa. <laughs> I'm guessing I was supposed to talk to you before finding the phantom? God has chosen Umbasa. Right, uh, okay. Thanks, Saint Urbane, for literally not introducing yourself at all. <laughs> yeah. He, he got kicked down a hole by patches, just like we did, you know. <laughs> of course we had to save him. So I, we actually want to fall down the hole again because there's that item right there. So wait, was that dude with the dual swords? 
No, that's someone different. I was gonna say, that's not the little disciple that came looking for St. Urbane. Like, where did he go? What happened to him? You! Me! <laughs> hey, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Oh, did... really? <laughs> a man's gotta make a living, right? Here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. <laughs> okay. I know. Have this as a token of my friendship. <laughs> Not bad, right? I already had one of those. But I'll accept it anyway. <laughs> Be friends. What do you say? No need to drag each other down. I mean, he does sell healing items slightly cheaper when he's in the Nexus than the other merchant. No need to drag each other down. Alright, you're fine, Patches. So I'll, I'll leave you be. Alright, how exactly... It's like over there. How... I gotta land on this. Uh, way off. Do I land on this or is this one of those things where like this rock crumbles when you have a pure white world state, blah blah blah. Hold on, I gotta look. <laughs> I don't wanna keep dropping down this hole if I don't have to. I mean, with the humanity or something, right? Give me, like, I don't know, things that restore MP. And then we can be, like, the bestest of friends, Patches. Yeah, okay. Good thing I looked. It is an item that I cannot get until the world is pure white. And it just like falls down by itself, <laughs> essentially. Okay. It's only a mild sociopath, yeah. All right, well, farewell for now, Patches. I'll see you some other time, probably. Most likely in the Nexus. <laughs> oh, these are... The dead mana rays? They're the, the dead flying mana rays. Hmm. Kind of gross. They're a bunch of skeletons. No, it's that one too late. Can you guys not shoot at me, please? Like, they always manage to shoot at me when they're, like, slightly too far away for me to do anything about it. Origin of Patches? Oh, yeah. Ah! He, he came up! The thing! I didn't think they could, because the other one did it. Okay. Took 
this. Thank you. Alright, uh, probably use another one of these. Are we back in like the kind of crypt area? We are. Oh, interesting. goes off too. Alright, I need to get to, like, the fucking Skeleton Reaper, like, ASAP, if that shit's gonna be happening. Okay, fire does more damage. It's gonna make some free. Where is where is skeleton? Oh, there you are. You get a lot of souls when they die, though. <laughs> so nice. What is screaming at me? Is it an ah! <laughs> that is, uh, they're invisible. Oh, I hate this area. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'll be leaving. Thank you. <laughs> The fuck? This area sucks. <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> no! Let me out. Yeah, it does kind of give off new Mondo vibes, doesn't it? All the ghosts. Ow. Okay, I need to be at full health in case the ones with the laser beams are in here. Oh. 
<laughs> Not like how it was like speeding up to reach me. Okay, the ones that shoot lasers also have more health than the other ones. Yeah, you have to be cursed or, um, there's a weapon. I don't know if it's, like, their own daggers or something like that. Or not a weapon, there's an item you can, like, use that, uh, makes it so you can kill them. The ghosts without being cursed. Little, like, ghost hand things. So, like, there are item, like, usable items that allow you to do the same thing as being cursed. And then there's also, I think, a weapon you can get that uh, lets you kill the ghost without being cursed. Hold on, I gotta look some up real quick. Yeah, there's a. Okay. I was just looking, looking up info for this area. But, uh. Yeah, there are actually a few cursed weapons, I believe, in Dark Souls that will kill the ghosts. And then there's the items, the uh, transient, uh, whatever, which are a rare drop in. New Londo themselves, I can't remember if there's a merchant that sells them as well. It's like an item you use and for like a couple minutes or something like that and it allows you to kill the ghosts. Oh! Those blow up! Okay! Uh, hmm. And then there are giant slugs. <laughs> Alrighty then. I just want the item. Give me a little. Oop. 
other thing behind me. Uh, God, so many slugs. I hate that its dead body is getting in the way of my death. <laughs> that is so dumb. My magic should just phase through a dead body. In. <laughs> like if I was using the soul arrows, the body would disintegrate, you know, and wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, well, probably work, yeah. Trying to avoid the uh, exploding lights. Hmm. There are a lot of dead bodies over here. Is this a boss? I think this is a boss. It's either a boss or before the boss. It's a boss. <laughs> I remember this guy. Okay. Old hero, right? So he's a uh, blind, technically. Oh shit. Not blind enough, though, because that was bad. <laughs> he got me like right away. Jeez. I think I have to like shoot him and then like go somewhere else immediately. Okay, oh god, I have to get all the way back down. Back down there. Ignore the skeleton for now. Okay, deal with these guys.
so I'm gonna put the shield. This guy's mad. Let's go let me. another fucking shortcut to get to the boss for this place because jesus fucking christ is it a goddamn nightmare to get back to old hero <laughs> It depends on the shield. Like like every uh, Dark Souls game, uh, their their shields are block magic. Yeah, that's bullshit. If it can hit me, I should be able to hit it.
inventory. I don't really have anything else that gets HP back. Or not HP, MP back, do I? Wait. Did that one dude sell MP items? I never checked. I might have to run all the way back there just to see. Because I cannot be attempting to continue through this area without uh, items that get MP back. There's that one skeleton in here I need to get rid of. Buy things from me here. No need to drag each other. I can't. It's only the one guy. Okay. Well, back upstairs I go then. So first place. Thank you. I'm gonna take fifty-seven of those, please. Uh, oh, I gotta open my tabs for what to do with demon the demon souls once I get them too. Just a moment. Sorry, I want to look up, uh... Oh, say hi back for me. <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, I, I remember there being, like, a little gimmicky thing you could do with, uh... The old hero. Uh, and I was right. Uh, you equip the thief's ring, which I think I still have in my inventory. And it makes it even harder for him to find you. The grave robber ring, I think. Maybe? 
Is it the grave robber ring or the actual thief's ring? The thief's ring. would get that in uh it would have been Boletaria. I might miss that. This wake for my be ring for me now. I wonder hmm I just bought a shit ton of stuff for him. I wonder if it'd be beneficial to go get the thieves ring. For uh the old hero fight. I might actually go do that. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. Right, yeah. Oh, I do have the thief's ring. I just put it in storage for whatever reason. Okay. I'll be taking that. Thank you. You have a heart of gold. Okay. There we go. Right, yeah. <laughs> Besides buying a shit ton of uh, items to restore magic, I think I'm gonna use these. So I can get a bunch of healing items while I'm here as well. Oh, hello. Just gonna get like 10 more lightning grass. Increases magic resistance temporarily. And I'm gonna buy more kunai from you. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm just surprised, like... Oh, I already forget his name. The Twin Fang, uh, dude. Didn't recognize... Doesn't recognize... Ostrava. Like, granted, he's probably not, you know, wearing... The armor or clothes or whatever he wore... Regularly in the capital. As oh. Prince, but, like... <laughs> You haven't, like, heard him speak and, uh, been able to discern it's him? Damn it. God. The fucking... Jeez, the Skeleton Reapers... Their magic is real fucking hard. Hey, 
Hey, yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot of me. <laughs> I already forget your name. Grey Robber Dude. I mean, if anything, I guess skeletons are like a good farming spot. Just like the starting point, I wouldn't dare attempt to fucking risk going farther out to farm for uh, souls. Oh, right, I gotta reset my stuff. Uh, where are those things I just bought? These. I am gonna, I'm gonna use one of these, cause I'm hoping it works when dealing with the fucking laser beams. Do some uh, magic damage. Against like these guys with uh, lasers, so no, they're at least the skeletons. Yeah, Astrava's father was yeah, King of Boletaria, um, King of Want, I think is his name, who unleashed all the demons, you know, because he got greedy. Awoke the, the old one or whatever you call it. So this next area, I'm just gonna have to make sure everything around me is more or less dead. Everything behind me, everything in front of me, as I try to get to the skeleton. Skeletons around this corner, so I don't know if I can do this. Okay, then. Alright, guys. God damn it! 
it. Oh, that's so fucking bullshit. It's like his his sight stunned me for what felt like way too fucking long. Cause I was spamming the cast button and fuck all was happening. And then of course he gets a spell off way before I can. It's so fucking dumb. Yeah, like having the enemies be able to cast way faster than you ever fucking can is kind of bullshit. Like, I wish I could cast that fucking fast. I'd be fucking unstoppable in this game. When you get the mana switch, it's like I can lock onto them, but I can't actually hit them. Even when they're like not moving, which is kind of also BS. That they're allowed to hit me, but I can't hit them to stop this fucking nonsense. there is a I'd have to look but I don't think there is a skill that affects cast speed just like I haven't seen any rings at all that would affect my cast speed Yeah, Dragon Ball would be even less worthless, <laughs> to, to be honest, in a game like this. Because of how quick everything gets shots off. Like, even the archer uh, skeletons shoot fairly fast. Like where this guy's located, I can't really roll the dodge his laser in a good way, so I'm just kind of forced to uh, use up healing items. Because even though I was fairly close to him, he, he should have stopped trying to shoot his laser and should have started approaching me, he just fucking didn't for whatever reason, so you know. Cause once you get close, they're supposed to attempt to grab you.
Well, this part is the most annoying spot to deal with these guys. And it's really, it's just like a matter of... I need Firestorm to be helpful and like hit that skeleton from around the corner, <laughs> essentially. Is the second one not gonna spawn from right here? Well, it's like, oh, the heroes who the boss will be facing is kind of like a... Which I'll be switching out this ring for the thief ring. He's a kind of slow and steady sort of boss, because he's blind. So he kind of, if you're careful, only attacks in the direction where your attacks are coming from. So like as a mage, I can hit him and then essentially move somewhere else and more or less be relatively safe. <laughs> it's just I have to be careful not to do like rapid attacks so he only kn always knows you know where I am. I need to give myself like time to hit him and then like move out of the way go somewhere else. It just baffles me that there's like not another shortcut. Like, I feel like there was a door by Patches or by, like, St. Urbane, but... I don't know where that door would lead. I also don't know if it'd be like a shortcut in the sense that like one you can get before the boss or if it's one that happens after, you know? I don't know, we'll just go for it. If I die again, I'll have to look to see. Here we go. Let's skip this because we already saw it.
Okay, so he's coming this way, so I think I want to kind of make my way this way. Back behind him. I can't use Firestorm here because uh, that is a close attack and I do not want to get anywhere near with all the hero. I mean... I think I also have to be careful about. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say not breaking the pots, because those definitely probably fucking make noise and alert him. <laughs> in the game, especially like old hero, makes me wonder what a melee build would be like. Because <laughs> I could not imagine dealing with this guy when you have to get like up close to him <laughs> to do damage. Just like seems like a nightmare. Equipped, but I wonder if a uh, poison mist would have been uh, useful at all <laughs> in this fight. Like, if you can be poisoned.
Excuse me. It's like my guilt's are dry, but... I kinda gotta wait until this fight's over to drink water. He actually turns around a lot sooner than I thought he would. I'm kinda safe just standing back here. <laughs> Luckily. Makes this fight a, a joke. <laughs> like, he literally cannot find you with it equipped. Thirty three thousand souls. Nice. Oh, back to the Nexus. So his soul can be used to do, get a miracle from Saint Urbane, or it can be used to make the large sword of searching, which is a large curved sword. Yeah, I won't be using either of those, so... I'm just gonna consume his soul to get more souls. <laughs> Actually, triple check. Uh... Are you sure? Are you sure? I owe my. If you are ever, it is a dog. Just triple check. We got nothing new. Thank you. Let me. I am one. Ah, human. I am. I can still be patient. Okay. Saint Urbain. Rescued his Augustus. I express my deepest gratitude. You have relieved me of a great illness. Oh, thank God. Umbasa. <laughs> right. With his holiness, Saint Urbane, back, the magicians will have to watch themselves. Thanks to his holy miracles, you brave battlers of demons will no longer be solely dependent on dark magic. Hey! Isn't it wonderful? The dark magic's Surely been useful. The demon slayers have awaited such an opportunity. Do you have any connection to Patches the Hyena? Uh... I trust not. He is a depraved, vile man, and he deserves no allies. <laughs> I hope that an upstanding hero such as yourself is selective when making associations. Yeah, to totally. Way, I highly recommend the companionship of the jovial Saint Urbain. Have you heard that they claim oh, that well, she there was and more? her royal knight have become demons and lead a clan of degenerate miscreants? In truth, the rumors are surely unfounded. There are all sorts of wrongdoers down there who would think up such nonsense. Yet, if the rumors are true, then may she be eternally damned for her debasement of the Lord's name. Wow, okay. <laughs> Yet, if the, then may she be eternally damned. Okay. You got anything new? Thank goodness. The Lord has not forgotten me yet. For he has allowed me into the presence of Saint Urbain. I shall serve him and pray with him, and thus express my faith in God, Mbasa. 
I plan to bequeath all my possessions to Saint Urbain. My grandfather's articles may contain more miracle stone shards like the one he gave me. But they'd only be wasted in my hands. No! Don't give Saint them to the saint! Give them to me! Them. <laughs> I can make more use of them than Saint Urbain can, who's going to be spending 99.9% .9 of his time here in the Nexus. <laughs> I'm out there fighting demons! I can hardly believe it. The fact that I'm helping to save the world. Oh, Saint Urbane, Mbasa. Oh, Saint Mbasa. I barely know this lady, but I feel betrayed. <laughs> Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray. Along with my disciples for the heroes. See, he doesn't want to leave. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and create miracles with their power. Okay, but I'm never gonna like use miracles. Friends of the Caster's death one time. Ooh, actually, that sounds broken. But, uh, but yeah, I have no faith, really. Does, do these have faith requirements? It doesn't say. I need miracle memory, though, and I don't want to put points into faith for that, or whatever it is. Estria of the Valley of Defilement. The last I heard, Saint Estria of the West was accompanied by the knight Gal Vinland. She would never be corrupted by souls. Not under the protection of such a renowned knight in his charmed armor. Surely it is mere slander. Sadly, the weak are prone to such backstabbing. Wow. All the saints in this game just like to talk shit, don't they? Vito, <laughs> the Moonlight Knight, Resire of Isterel, even Selen Vinland. Many honorable knights have ventured into Boletaria in search of the Valley of Defilement. The vicious rumors about Estria offend our most basic sense of respect for God's name. However, none of these great knights have made it back. Could it be that that wretched valley is so infested with grime that even our Lord's voice does not resonate there? So... Perhaps it is the fate of those left behind by God. At least one of the names he mentioned uh, is Garl Vinland's sister. I already forget her first name. Uh, you, you can run into her. I don't know about the other two. If you truly are a disciple, then you must have a talisman in God's image. Heavenly miracles occur in Boletaria through the talismans. God has granted this accursed land a special power. It is God's way of telling yeah, us... Yeah, girl, we haven't met girl Vinland yet, um... Demons. He's like this knight dude that was traveling with this Rhea, this like priestess. Uh, he's in the Valley of Defilement area, so that like plague area we went through with the, uh, you know, the plague rats and all that. They're at like the very bottom of that area. You run into them there. After the dark arts spread across the land, holy miracles were witnessed once again. The will of God is clear. We must defeat the demons, annul the curse of Boletaria, and purge the magicians who manipulate those accursed souls. Okay, uh... The first two, sure. The last one... Uh, how about we don't? As you know, souls are a source of wicked power, emanating from the demons. King Alant was overcome by lust for such power and has placed Boletaria in her present predicament. 
Old Freak and the Candle Maiden are no exception. We must defeat and purge the Okay, he is looking at Yes, I certainly cannot fall, but you must remember. All right, well, okay, I'm not gonna learn miracles, so I'm just gonna use that right away. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to level up so much. Without seek, then touch the soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. I'm gonna connect a bubble. Let strength be granted so the world might Six be times! Nice! Um, we'll do two health. How much uh, intelligence do I need to get to get another slot? I don't even know. A lot more than uh, 30, I guess. Even 36 doesn't get me a new magic memory. Dexterity is just physical defense and damage sustained from falling. Really? MP and magic memory. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything for like cast speed. Uh, okay. Can I get magic to? 30 then, and vitality 26. Right, yeah. Artha, may thy strength. No, Patches is back. Patches! Oh, but I should probably yeah, switch the thieves ring out. Well, we've long been acquainted. Be good. Nice stuff, eh? Well, we're okay, so we did world four two. Okay, and then it wants me to go back to Bolutaria now. Okay. That's the case. I'll just do that and that, and then... What else would we get to equip? I think that's it for now. Yeah, th yeah, the 5,000 soul costing Nexus Stones I get from uh, patches or whoever. One time use. Which, you know, a little unfortunate, but at the same time, I kind of only use them like twice so far anyway. States looking like. I can't tell if 
they're pure white or not for Shrine of Storms and uh, Tower of Latria. They might be, even though I haven't killed the, uh, all the bosses there yet. I mean, the quickest way to check would be, uh... The, what is it, the fourth world? The hole that, uh, Patches kicks you down. The world's pure white, uh, that item I couldn't get will be on the ground, and I can grab it. But also at the start, that one NPC will also be standing on the ground, so we'll go here and check. Human is overrated, yeah. Oh yeah, he's standing right there, so the world's, uh, pure white. Over there. You seem to have your head about you. Come here. I have a proposal for you. Do you? Do not be afraid. You have much to gain. Do I? I am Satsuki. I seek a keepsake of my father. Have you seen the sword inscribed, Makoto? I will offer you demon souls if you can help me find it. Okay. The Makoto chooses its master. But be warned. The Makoto is no sword for the faint of heart. The Makoto chooses... But be okay, the right, right, right. Nose. Yeah, I know where it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we already know where the sword is, or at least I already know. It's uh, down that hole Patches kicked us down. <laughs> so we'll go get that real quick. Skeleton. <laughs> Magic sword, Makoto. So, there are two ways to go about this. <laughs> um, so, the sword, you could say is cursed. <laughs> uh, giving it to the NPC does not turn out well for him. But, there is an achievement for giving him the sword, which I haven't gotten yet. So, I might do it. I'm gonna do it. Bad things will probably happen, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> also, you know, just FYI for anyone who ends up playing Demon Souls at any point, you do not want to equip the sword and then go talk to him. He gets very mad and tries to kill you. Just keep it in your inventory to not equip it. Yeah, achievement time. I got, I got the weapon. Oh, skeleton. Uh, uh skeleton. Sir. Ah, you have found the Makoto, have you? Bless your good fortune, and uh, well, good work. Now, just hand Makoto over to me. Sure. Yes. yes. 
<laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> this luster, it's finally mine. <laughs> Could this sword really be as deadly as this? There is only one way to find out. Ah! <laughs> immediately, I immediately was like, he's gonna try to fucking murder me. <laughs> Sir, I think you underestimate my power. Yeah, see, I, I told you guys, you know, things would go horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, looks like I get to keep the sword <laughs> after all. Uh, <laughs> Age lives matter, right? Uh, hold on, I'm looking at, like, the, the World Tennessee stuff for this game. Is that it for this area? Yeah, I, I guess that was it for world tendency stuff in uh, this area. Okay, cool. But we can go back to world three, the prison tower, and there's uh, that should be pure white as well, and there's stuff we can do there. Uh, I guess I only get the sword, I don't get his clothes or anything? Man, he could have just like, I don't know, went and fought skeletons or something. He immediately turned on me. <laughs> did him dying lower this world? It did. It <laughs> lowered at some point so it's no longer pure white. Uh, but I'll go back to pure white uh, once we kill the final boss in this area. Okay. Well, well, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> I knew he, like, went aggro once he got the sword, but I thought it was, like, a thing where you leave and come back and then he tries to kill you, not, like, immediately, you know, must murder. <laughs> yeah. Well, every world... Except Boletario has three bosses. I think Boletario has like four-ish? I want to say four. Maybe technically five if you include this optional encounter you have that is sort of a boss way, but also not really. <laughs> you know, sword guys and their swords, yeah. Okay. So I think we can go back to tower and uh, do world stuff here as well. So, yeah, so the rubble on floor two of the tower should be gone now. Didn't seem like that cool of a blade. Yeah, I didn't even really look at it when I picked it up. What does it say? A cursed katana that has appeared in folklore through the ages. Named for Makoto the giant who lived in a distant land. Countless unique teeth have been carved into its blade. These teeth ravaged the flesh, never to heal again. Cursed weapons, like the Makoto, are said to devour the wielder's essence and rob their warmth. Innumerable warriors continue to be taken by the Makoto's allure nevertheless. So yeah, cursed sword. And like, I 
think every other katana it does bleed, I assume? Yeah, 327 bleed damage. Wow. Or bleed build up, rather. That is wild. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm never gonna use it, so into storage it goes. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess if we were doing, you know, like, dex, right? Dex is what you use for those weapons, yeah? So, like, a dex bleed build. It's probably a really good sword to have. Uh, okay, I gotta get to floor two. What is the easiest way to do that? This is floor four. Uh, did I want to like stay down and go around? Is that the thing? That might have been it. Only wish ghost blood, yeah. so much. I hate how close I have to be to lock on, essentially. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. It's just like World State is a very kind of separate thing. So yeah, you can have all the worlds at pure white or pure black and like there won't be like any special event or anything that happens because of it. Honestly, it might be do good to do like, if you're going for, you know, the special stuff like that I'm doing, like, pure white, but it, for the worlds, for, like, a first run, but, like, new to plus. But if you don't care about, like, the events, or you don't care about how certain NPCs interact with you, rather, it might be good to do a mix of pure white for some worlds and pure black for others. Because pure white, or white worlds, in general get you more healing items, and then the black worlds and pure black get you more crafting stuff. So like, thinking about it, uh, the tunnel world, world 2, with like the dragon boss and stuff, doesn't really have any NPC interactions involving the world state being pure white, I think? Well maybe one, with the one dude. I actually gotta see if they're- I'm looking at pure white stuff so I can't tell you about pure black. Uh, I can look at it real quick to see if it, he gets affected. Cause I would say out of all the worlds to maybe keep pure black, uh, world 2 would be... the best to do it? If you don't care about, you know, talking to Scrooge the Wanderer and getting whatever item he gives you, 
because he comes like a, an invader kind of deal dude you have to fight if the world's pure black because Stonefane Tunnel already gives you a bunch of like uh upgrade materials for your weapons you'd get even more if it was pure black uh yeah I've seen darker than black so, like, what way you want the world tendencies to go depends on, like, what you're trying to do in the game, essentially. Whether or not you care about, like, killing an NPCs, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, what? Ah! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot you exist. <laughs> God, I hate how fucking far their range on attacks is compared to me, too. Alright. Ignore you. I gotta get to floor two. Not there. Not you guys. I'm trying to remember how to get a floor two. <laughs> Maybe it was back up the stairs and then like back down. Put the tower upside down. Yeah, the floor. Layout doesn't make sense. Okay, let's explore three. Okay, and then we go up. Now we're on floor four. And I think the stairs down are over here. Stairs down over here or on this side. Oh, huh. Interesting. This is where I'm rescued Freak, right? Yeah. I think I want to go down another level.
No, oh, this is a B9. Uh. Where the fuck? Is this it? Okay, this is it. Okay. Here's to be locked. Need a key or something. Did I like go uh, run past where the key is, or is it further somewhere else? like first four or something well they make you like work to get this fucking key to free this guy yeah i finished game of thrones a while ago it was all right uh, the the ending uh season or i guess even like the last episode felt uh very rushed to get this key. Oh, I have to go all the way to where, uh, where that train, uh, that, uh, that chain holding that giant blob thing was, the first one. Probably isn't the fastest way back to where I need to go to get the key, but it's the route I'm taking. <laughs> Giving her family history, or at least how everyone in the show described the Targaryens, it was inevitable that she would also go fucking crazy.
Oh yeah. Okay, I'm trying to think. Which do I have to go to get back to where that first chain was? there where I'm like I don't know how the fuck to get that it looks like there's a point right there maybe up top I can drop down I'm not entirely sure oh yeah for sure Oh yeah, that that entire yeah, the entire fight, the like the most important fight you would assume of the, you know, series. That, it, you know, all this stuff was leading up to, and you can see like jack shit. Yeah, that was very terribly done. It was way too fucking dark. Okay, I think this is the tower. Um really so I can get the key. Let's see what's his face? Well that's save him, he's already technically dead, but uh to release him. So with that, I can go back to the cells and free what's his face, I think.
Wait, I don't want to have to run all the way back there, so... Do I still have one of the items for Fast Travel? I don't. Uh, I should have bought one from Patches. I guess I am walking all the way back there. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it, I was drinking water. <laughs> ah. Catch the elevator next time, I guess. So, uh, the, the ability, the little water shield I had, uh, essentially reduced how much fire damage I was taking, like, at least a little bit. There is a, like, ledge down there I have to drop on. It's just a matter of what the game will let me. To get that item. It's, like, right here. Ooh, okay. Give. Now hold on a second. Those are the the things Oshrava uses. attack is an ugly mode, but it is fortified with an arcane force. Targeting its wielder from magic attacks. Weapon of great hero of legend who also wielded the mansion rune shield. I'm guessing Ostravas are... What would you call? Replicas of these? I doubt Ostrava is running around wielding weapon a weapon and shield that belonged to a great hero of legend just you know going off of how he fights <laughs> or his lack of fighting rather yeah look 
Because Ostrava never comes to this area. He's only ever in Volataria or the Nexus. So those don't actually belong to him. Right, yeah, we never went down and uh, fought all the creatures by the fleshy blob either, you know. That's something to worry about for later, though. Honestly, I don't even know how I'd get down there. Yeah, Little Prince very much uh, does not know how to really fight all that well. Do you think I can, like... I don't think you can get the gargoyles to carry you back down, so I kind of just have to go back to the start. Right, yeah. Maybe go through here, and then up. There we go. Wait, hold on. Can I... I got the key. Can I open this? I can. Nice. Finally open all these cells. Uh, nothing in there with you. You kind soul. Please take this fine piece of work. I have no use for it now. Ah, and thus begins my final, eternal rest. Oh, uh, okay. Ah. Are there are items in your cell. Later, I guess. Do 
keep pulling the head. Which head? Oh, I can't wear it because I'm not a lady. No, game. I want to wear the witch hat. Boo. <laughs> Send it storage. The remake should have 100% gotten rid of the uh, old game, so uh, you need to be female or male to wear X armor set. Uh, BS. Because it literally does not help anyone. There's really, like, no point, like, in this- for, like, that to exist. They should have got rid of it in the remake. <laughs> Sagehood. Run by Sage Freak the Visionary. See you all journeys. This is where is maximum MP. Okay. Well, I get stage freak stuff I can wear, I guess. Uh, is it better than my gear currently? It is. It weighs more. Then again, I don't really roll around a whole lot. Better physical, blunt slash. Yeah, everything's better. Even durability. Okay, I'm. I. Uh, hold on, equipment. I guess I'm dressing like Sage Freak now. Except for the hood. Because uh, apparently the little crown thing that I'm wearing increases my max MP and there's no point in getting rid of that. <laughs> oh no, I still I still roll pretty pretty decent. Okay. Send to storage, I guess, the wizard stuff, then. Yeah, nice. So, we rescued him. He gave us an item. Is there anything else for this area? Uh, okay, I can go all the way down to the first floor. And there'll be a new door that's unlocked. Cool, okay. So I guess that's where I'll be going next, the first floor. Yeah, it's very- I don't know. The world state stuff is interesting, it's just very weird how, uh, what things exactly get affected by it. Like, for whatever reason, having the world pure white means, uh, <laughs> this door is now open, you know? And it's just like, to get the key to free that guy from his cell, it's like someone put wooden planks down for me to walk across that gap. It's just like, who's going around doing all this stuff? <laughs> oh, ooh, you startled me. What are you doing in the staircase? Get out of here. Chungus, that message is from yesterday. 
If that's a, I don't know if they're here or not. For whatever reason, yeah. If you're talking about the dude that asked if this was my first playthrough, that was from yesterday. I don't know if they're still here. Today. I mean, looking at uh, Twitch, you're technically the only viewer, so... Exactly on the first floor. Corner behind the prisoner horde enemy. Ah. Okay. Oh, this. Okay. Also, yeah, uh, even if people aren't talking in chat, I'm cool with it, because, like, you know, a lot of viewers just lurk. Like, I lurk when watching streams. I'm fine if people are just here viewing and not chatting. See anything in there? There's to be locks. There's another key somewhere? Really? Hmm. Yeah, there's another key I have to get. Wow. Only for like certain cells though. Huh. Okay. Yeah, all well, the cells that have items in it essentially do. Okay. go so key so 
So I can open all, uh, all of these, right? Yeah, nice. Anything on the ceiling? No. A uh, rogue armor. Okay. Herring dagger. Worn by members of the secret cloutier, who plot to harness the power of souls. Let us know about their true nature of their affairs. There's a secret organization out there. Ooh, the gloves. Got little claws on the hands. Except I can't wear it because I'm not a lady. And so far, I assume it's like, you know, female characters uh, get all the cool stuff. Because, <laughs> you know, not really complaining, because, like, my, my other character, my first character I played through this game with, uh, is a lady. Right, yeah. an item in there you guys uh okay I think that was everything All right let's see Yeah, that was everything for this world, in terms of, like, world state stuff. Cool. So now I can leave. I think the fastest way back is actually across the bridge. Do the art stone after the fool's idol fight. Probably because I, you know, watched Game of Thrones recently and I wanted a short, easy name. <laughs> That's about it. I thought about naming him Marius, which is like my go-to for like every male character I ever make. Except for uh, my Monster Hunter one. Did I name him? Nilobot or something like that? And then I, I guess also my fun fancy male characters that give a uh, unique names. Like uh, I made a male Hrothgar and named him uh, Banuk Rokensar to kind of align with the uh, them being based off of uh, what are they? Ronso from Ten. Their race. was intentional. <laughs> I mean, I never add the Z, but yeah. Ah, uh, puns. <laughs> I saw the joke. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. <gasps> Got 25,000 souls. Can I have all up? Left, then touch the soul of the 
mind I can soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel let strength be granted so the world might be mended so the world might be mended we'll just uh yeah do that Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. How did you do it? I can't imagine what it takes to slay a demon. Oh, you have new things. If only I knew how to fight. If only I knew how to fight. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Uh, put that in storage. Put the pairing dagger in storage. Arrows. Hmm, what else? I'm wondering if I should go back to what's his face and get more poison kunai. Uh, the reason I'm stocking up on these is because we're gonna be coming up apart to uh, the point soon in Boletaria where one of the dragons will be kind of sitting on the walkways where we have to go. And you can use poison daggers to like slowly drain its health and then it like flies off and you don't have to worry about it anymore until like a little bit later. But it's good to get rid of the dragon to have it disappear instead of just trying to avoid its fire because uh what's his face? You have a heart of gold. Sir Twin Fang Man over here starts wandering on Boletaria again and just will wander straight into the path of the dragon fire and get himself injured Our and possibly killed. was a magnanimous <laughs> leader. It was Stalin. Yes, that must be it. Because, you know, he's just kind of dumb. <laughs> so, and I can't remember, I can't for the life of me remember how many poison daggers it takes to, like, deal with the dragon. So I think real quick, I'm just gonna go buy more. A hundred should be good, right? I have like 50 right now. So that's 87 right there. This is where the ancient to see, but all that's left. I've never been so wrong about a dig. Call myself a grave robber. I'm a disgrace. Oh, because there's nothing valuable to loot. I've never been so wrong. Oh. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, okay. I'll use like two more of these. Well, they only give you like 800. Oh, hello. Okay. There. Hoping that should be good enough for when we come across the dragon. No, no, he's he's definitely better than Patches. He hasn't tried to kill me like at all he just kind of exists and he, you know he, unlike patches he doesn't kill people and then the, their corpses he just loots the dead <laughs> all right so, okay, all that out of the way. Back to Boletaria. 
Not hard to be better than that is true. Yeah. Here's an armor for game as well. Wow. Oh, uh, uh, oh, it was supposed to drop off. I was like, I heard something running at me, and I was like, oh, another enemy. Not like this. I'm in a menu. No, the little friends. The king. Done spooked me. But Strava can make them, like, you know, come back down this way. Help them out. Can't really do anything right now because he's in the way. And I want to hit him with magic. I mean, if Strava's got one thing going for him, he seems to have a shit ton of fucking help. Like, Jimmy. <laughs> like, I, okay, I don't think I have to worry about him dying anytime soon. Strava, I cannot believe you just let that man heal. <laughs> I've already been down that way a bunch, so let's go this way, the shortcut I opened last time. Black Iron Dark is That's a dead end. There wasn't like anything up top I potentially missed, was there? Even though, you know, the last time I came through here, I was kind of trying to focus on uh, getting to the fat officials for their stuff to save Yuria. I feel like I still kind of made sure to look for items and grab everything. There's an item over there. Let's see. The 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 large OP fire spell? Or or the tiny one. Oh yeah, Firestorm, yeah. The only problem with it is that it uh it takes a lot of MP to cast. And it's honestly kind of just best to oh, in this game anyway, save it with save it for bosses, just cause. I don't want to go through all of my uh, MP items super quick. Oh jeez, look at this shit. Three red-eyed knights over there. You got a fat official standing up there with them. These guys. 
They were really uh, protecting the bridge, aren't they? The walkway. is next. I think it's uh for this area the the penetrator boss. The the knight or whatever. I would assume. Which if that's the case, uh that one dude's supposed to come and help me with the fight, hopefully. These guys, there's always a cutscene. <laughs> you gotta show him sauntering off, you know, letting the knights do everything for him. Right, yeah. Very good magic resist. So... Hmm. This is... I don't know if this is the boss or just like another area. If this is the boss, is Bjor just kind of... I think his name is Bjor, right? Does he kind of just like show up? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the boss. Shooting him 
same with the crossbow! Sure! <laughs> Out of all the things to use at this moment in time. time I played through this game I didn't I wasn't well as well stocked up on uh, MP items as I was now so I ran out of magic I also forgot to to like release him from prison before coming here that's why I got the achievement for him helping me um so I was in here alone fighting penetrator and I ran out of MP and I'm just sitting here you know, trying to stab him with my dinky ass dagger to get MP back so I could kill him. <laughs> One more demon down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I got through the fight first go, same as I did now, but it just took way longer. <laughs> Fine work back there. Then again, how could a demon ever stand up to a bona fide knight? <laughs> True. Now, you uh, go on ahead. I must be getting older. I need some rest. Oh, uh, taking another nap? I gotta look up your name. I wanna make sure I'm not, like, calling you the wrong one name. I probably am, but, you know. No, it is pure. Okay. Cool. I actually remembered. No, it's not spelled that way. It's uh. Uh. Where is it? I had to make sure. If it was uh, two hours or not. Yep, <laughs> back to sleep. Well, yeah, and he took. Cause I had aggro like 99% of that. He took very little damage. So, you know, when we have to deal with that dragon later, whenever that is, uh, I don't have to worry about him dying in the fire, hopefully. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, because we ran to here earlier to like save Yuria, this area is actually we got through quick because of that. So, uh, doing stuff yesterday. So, back to the Nexus. Gonna level up, and then uh, the next place the game recommends going, or like the walkthrough and stuff, is. Back to the swamp area with, you know, the plague rats and all that. <laughs> yeah. That fight, man. That fight went by super fast. Like, I knew it was gonna go by faster with the viewer there, but... <laughs> that went by ridiculously fast. Um, okay, what would be good? I think I'll do health and then magic. I can forge weapons for you. 
deep inside stone bones of the guy. Do you come back with a great sword, yeah. Can't believe, yeah, I look over at him and he, he, he just he's slowly walking up to penetrator and then just shoots him with the crossbow instead of swinging a sword. I'm just like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, honestly, I'm a little grateful he decided to be lazy and use the crossbow because it means, you know, he didn't pull aggro that often and get hit and, like, potentially die, but still. <laughs> it's like my dude. I don't know if you're really helping me. <laughs> it's almost like I'm doing this fight solo. <laughs> Uh, oh, I was gonna look. I got a silver demon soul. Okay, what is what does his soul do? What is it for? Purchase the spell light weapon from Freak, or the spell cursed weapon from Uria. Oh, okay. Okay, well, well what do our lows do? Do you intend to challenge the king? Probably. You may be a great demon hunter, but I fear you may not be ready. The king was defended by the black souls of mighty knights and a fire-breathing drake. They defeated even myself. That's how I ended up in the dungeon. Oh. Beware the limits of your own power. I mean, to be honest, fighting the king will probably be kind of one of the last things we do. Where the limits of you. So you know, you know, I don't worry about me, Bjor. I'll be leveling up <laughs> to be prepared for that. He's <laughs> a lightning tank, right? Yeah, fighting solar would be a nightmare. Bravo! I cannot. Oh, thank you. As promised. Okay, so, well, I want to see what exactly yours do. So, light weapon. Brightly strengthen right hand weapon. Okay. I am, I can still be patient. So, what does the Urias thing do? The cursed weapon thing? Are you certain? Would honor are you sure? Strengthen and curse right hand weapon. But it doesn't exactly. Oh, it takes three slots. It doesn't really explain what curse does. So hold on, let me look. What the fuck does curse weapon actually mean in this game? Boosts physical weapon damage by 50% and gradually lowers HP. Alright. So then, uh, the, what is light weapon exactly from Sage Creek then? Okay, greatly strengthens right hand weapon, damage skills, magic stat. Does not work on every weapon. Lasts for 60 seconds. Curse weapon also lasts for 60 seconds. Chains 1% HP per second for Cursed Weapon. They both sound good, it's just a matter of... 
Well, we have a moment. What does Plague do? True. Well, it kind of looked like Plague was like a faster draining poison. Because my, my health was going down uh, when I was infected by Plague. The same as if I was infected by poison, but a bit faster. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a more dangerous version of poison, essentially. That's what this says. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it's essentially toxin. I mean, okay, I don't see myself ever using these spells, but I'm gonna get it anyway. I'll get Curse Weapon. So why not? If the demon is cursed, Freak's power comes from you. Thank you. Oh, nice. Time to do the usual. Also, let me check. Did a killing a uh, killing penetrator put a uh, Boltarian pure white? So I guess I should check uh, real quick before going to World Five. Uh, what stuff I can get in World One? <laughs> Oh yeah, it'd be horrible if they respawn. <laughs> okay, so let's see. World 1, pure white. Oh, okay. So that gate near the very start of Boletaria, the very first art stone, there was a locked gate that's open now. Okay, cool. Right, yeah. Oh, it also looks like Oh, so that, that area where the dragons hung out on the cliff in World 1, uh, the, the dragons aren't there for a bit, so I can go get all the items. Back to Boletaria real quick. Right, yeah. Like, yeah, most Souls games, it's like they're difficult, true, but they never feel unfair in a lot of instances with the difficulty. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna destroy you guys. Oops. 
Grab my items. Oh god, there's so many! No idea. Well, I night come up. Oh, it's just like a executioner or something. Yeah, I don't want to kill her because I think it... Because she's human, she's not a word phantom. It counts as negative points and uh, will mess with my pure white world state. So I'm just gonna run past you real quick and try to get the items. beam it on there. Uh, is this a safe drop? I'm gonna assume it is. It feels like it'd be a little too far, but maybe not. in the storage. Brushwood armor, okay. Please, lady, do not be up here at the top of the ladder or something. I don't see her. I, I think I kind of outran her. Thankfully.
Okay, there we go. I don't see anything over there. So I'm not even gonna attempt to go over there. So cool, we got all the items over here. Now the only other place to check is uh, I'm gonna find my way back to that cliff where we first saw the dragons. she is oh uh, no oh she definitely murdered me <laughs> that's fine I wonder if I can even get in there and get my soul back I might have to lead her out of the area again This is fine. I need to lead her out here and then kind of loop her away and come back. Yeah, because my souls are down there. Follow me. Ah. All right, go, go, go. I'm gonna be fast. I died there. <laughs> oh, she is. No, she turned away. It's like she is still after me. guys. I think the fastest way back to that cliff with their dragon's floor is through here. So it's like stairs somewhere along the bridge where the red dragon first appears. Lead down to the cliff.
god, why are there so many fucking holy oh, shit? It's a whole army of fucking dogs, god damn. I may have gone the wrong way. Uh, I'm trying so hard to remember where the fucking dragon nest is. I think, uh, hold on. I don't think it was this far ahead. There's like that bridge where you first see the red dragon kind of like lands on it and breathes fire and then flies off. It's not the long bridge I just crossed, it's somewhere else. Uh, fuck, where is it? Might be back this way. Is he the giant with the crossbow? Because if so, then you meet him in the DLC. Oh. <sighs> 
guys can expect tracking a bit easier, I guess. be on the other side. There's a path somewhere that leads to the clip the dragons like live on essentially. Uh -huh. Here it is. And the dragons are going. Cool. Oh, wrong button again. Purple flame shield, okay. Down to warrior souls. Flame resist ring. Ring of great strength. All right. Neat. Is there anything down here? Archstone shards and full moon rest. Nice. I'm just wondering if I should use an Archstone Star. Because there's another, like, optional little thing I can do here in Boletaria, but it's kind of towards the start of the area. Oh, yeah. Should have been carry. That's like a bit too late. There we go. Oh, my God. 
which way do I want to go? I think I want to keep going this way. Yeah. I'll try to answer as best as I can. I'm not sure. At least for uh, Dark Souls 1. I can't remember. Because you meet a giant archer in the DLC, and I can't remember if he has a face or not. It's hard to say considering a lot of them wear helmets, more or less, to uh, hide their faces. Like even in Elden Ring, um, the one giant dude you can meet, his face is hidden. I don't think I go this way. Where the? Is it this way? <laughs> This is where I saved a little Strava. I don't know if they're helmets in one. I just know uh, in three, uh, human giant, or not three, uh, Elden Ring. Uh, he's wearing a helmet. One giant you meet. There is a giant you meet in three that's shooting your arrows in a certain area, but I don't know. I don't remember what they look like. I don't remember the appearances of the friendly giant NPCs. I feel like I got lost. You know what? Okay, hold on. Fuck it. Return me to the Nexus. I will go about this from the actual way I know how to get there. I'm privy to like the bare bones of like Dark Souls lore. <laughs> Anything outside of that, uh, I'm at a loss on.
There is over this way a red eyed knight. I remember. You. Like, not have his shield up? Fuck. Oh, god damn it! Oh, fuck. Spear wielding bastard. God, I don't want to have to come all the way fucking back here, but I guess I do. Jesus. Ugh. I hate dealing with the fucking dregs. They're such a pain in the ass. I don't remember if it was in the original or not. To be honest, the remake didn't change much from the original. If you can tell by the fact that they still kept the gender locked gear, you know, that's kind of a bullshit mechanic. Coming up this tower faster. Let's we'll see. Mm, it was okay. Go this way next time. Just to uh, see if this does anything to you. I'm done messing around. <laughs> ah, oh, it's locked. Ah, oh, damn it. I came over here for nothing. Uh, I didn't know you needed a key. There's an NPC in here I wanted to talk to, but I guess I can't talk to him yet. Fine. I mean, he only sent one message though. Like, uh, Twitch might be a little bit broken, cause like, when I ended stream after I saw I had audio issues, and I restarted like 10 minutes later, uh, it still showed me the old messages. And uh, the guy you're mentioning, 
only sent one message, and it was from yesterday's stream. There wasn't a second message today. There haven't been any other uh, people in chat besides you today. Anyway, like I've been watching the view count. I can't do what I wanted to do in Balataria, so I guess uh, I'll go where I'm supposed to be going, which is, I think, World 5 again, yeah. So I got 11,000 souls. Um, did I get any of these that I can use? Ooh, a colorless demon soul. Thomas, I think I got things to store with you. Oh, I was worried sick. You are worried about me? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I have died quite a few times. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thomas. Like, the thing is, is I don't have timestamps for, like, chat, so it, it's very hard for me to essentially be like, yeah, this, uh, it's Twitch breaking, or, um, if it was someone sending a message twice. But, like, scrolling, scrolling through the messages, right? Um, yeah. I only ever saw his message once and it was from yesterday. Like there was no second message today. Even if it was, say, someone coming in and asking the same thing again, I don't really give a shit. Like. I have links turned off so, like, people can't, you know, send spam or stuff that way. And I block pretty practically, like, every slur in existence. So, you know, I don't really have to worry about, like, hate speech and stuff. So, like, yeah, I don't really care. Unless they're spamming it, like, rapidly over and over again the same message, I generally do not give a shit. Hi, welcome. Same thing for, like, you know, people who, like, watch watch and, like, don't talk. I'm, like, I I'm cool with lurkers because I do the same thing. <laughs> Very much trying to go for, you know, like, chill vibes on stream. If only I knew how to fight. We are indebted to you. For you fight on our behalf. All right. Cool. Thanks, Thomas. All right. Back here. Oh yeah. All right. The next part's the swamp. All that is unclean ends up in the giant swamp at the base of the Valley of Defilement. The swamp is a cesspool of 
Future Ledge Vermin and Plague. Oh, great. It's the bottom of Blight Town. Yay. <laughs> Now, I brought a plague. I wonder if I'm gonna have to equip a... Like, plague resistance ring. You know what? Just to be safe. Uh, oh, I forgot to store one of the flame rings. I think I'll equip one. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Can never go wrong taking a nice vacation to the swamp. <laughs> Is it going on for? So I probably won't fully get through the swamp today. I'll go as far as I can. I'll go a little bit longer since I had those tech issues earlier. Shortcut on the other side. Okay. What would be the best way down? That looks like it's already on the ground, so I guess right here. bad as blight <laughs> or plague well let's switch to poison ring uh right i also need to equip those flowers i guess um hmm just remove the blight uh bright water there we go I remember now why I hate this area the most. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it does. Does the Blight Town, Lower Blight Town, do the same thing where there's like areas where you can't run, essentially, or you can't like roll? Or you move slower, rather, I guess would be the best way to explain it. So that's like this whole swamp area essentially you walk very slow in the sludge because it's like waist high not the rest of the ring it's a literal slog yeah I don't know the. I can't remember if Demon Souls has like a rusted ring counterpart. I'm also wondering if, because like walking through the sludge, I'll probably get poisoned regardless of having poison resist ring on. If it would be better to have the HP regen ring. I wonder if that's like enough regen to counteract poison when it takes effect or not. Man, there are a lot 
one of you guys, huh? I guess it's a good thing in the stock off and like a bunch of healing items. More coming here. Figure out which way to go. There are a lot of items like out in the open. That's the thing. I might just try to grab all of those while I can. Yeah, okay, it seems the HP regen is just slow enough where it can't keep up with the poison, but it will help me from, you know, losing as much health, probably. I'll just have to keep an eye on my health bar and, like, heal as needed while going through here and grabbing stuff. Oh, nice. <laughs> Slowly creating a monster, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> particular thing I remember about this swamp area is that it's somewhere down here that you get the Moonlight Great Sword. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that, but yeah. Somewhere here in this horrible poison swamp is the Moonlight Great Sword. Oh, there's a red phantom over there. Hmm, okay. I want an NPC lady too. Uh, girl, girl, Vinland's sister. I don't remember her name. Is also somewhere down here. I should get to one of these little islands. <laughs> deal with this. Oh, apparently the poison wore off at some point. <laughs> Why? I was on land. Why couldn't I roll? Oh, this is some bullshit. Like, oh, I can't even. Yeah, I can't even run in this. What is. Hmm. I see you, game. Being all sorts of rude and sketchy, aren't you? I wonder if the yeah, I think the game was thinking I wanted to back up instead of turn around and run away, and uh, back stepping is a no-no as well down there.
think I died like way out here. So let me see, yeah. I can't backstep. I can only kind of sprint. Alright, I'll take this item. Cat ring. Souls retrieved. Uh, what does the cat ring do? Increase damage from falls. Well, that doesn't really help me right now, does it? I want to get rid of this red phantom, but uh... I'll wait for them to come back here on their own. Maybe I'll end on this, because you guys talking about risotto is making me hungry. <laughs> Killing this phantom, hopefully. Oh, damn it. She was so close. Oh, I got stuck in the goo and I couldn't roll. <laughs> I will kill this phantom <laughs> if it's the last thing I do today. tries the charm, right? Yeah? Hey, didn't get a ring for here, did I? I wanna make sure. Defense rises when HP is low. Use rate of weapon wear. No. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. So it's like, you know, getting something to eat after this. Uh, I also have to go grocery shopping later today. Kind of running low on food.
Okay, I have to make sure I do not wind up off of this tiny island uh, when fighting this red phantom. Probably make sure I'm at full health. So probably I kind of wish Demon Souls did what like you know every other Dark Souls ends up doing, which is show me how long I have left to be poisoned. <laughs> oh right, yeah. Yeah, no worries. Alright, is she gonna come back this way anytime soon? Here she comes. How did none of that hit her? That is some bullshit. She hit me on the edge, but I didn't really do that much damage. No, not oh, the swamp. God, I fucking hate the swamp so much. Ooh, this red phantom. Ooh. <laughs> I was barely in the swamp, and it was just like, nah. You're you're like ankle deep, you can't roll for shit. Unallowed. <laughs> like, okay, if half of my like flame pillars are gonna like miss her, or all of them the first time I cast it too, then I'm just gonna not even care about the island and just try to hit it with fireballs. I'll just run to like keep my distance. They just, you know, they want you to never leave. They want you to stay and experience the swamp in all its glory. <laughs> I guess, you know what, maybe it's a good thing I can't roll in the swamp, because could you imagine how bad your character would end up smelling after rolling around in swamp dirt? Like the muck? <laughs> God, it just makes me think of a uh, Elden Ring with the soap that you can use to uh, get rid of uh, like poison buildup and stuff from rolling. She just like made a. I wasn't even trying to roll there. I was trying to run and it stopped me. That is some grade A bullshit right there. Like, you want to block me from using one mechanic, fine, but. Because it's not like I pressed circle once. I was holding it. So I should have just broken into a sprint. a little finicky with its uh, mechanics at times, I've noticed. Oh, 
Like, punishing me for rolling is one- or trying to roll down there is one thing. Uh, that punished me for trying to sprint, which is a whole other thing. So every time I run this way, something dies. <laughs> I've noticed. What is dying off in the background? Oh, she gets to roll around in the swamp, but I can't. I see how it is, game. That's favoritism. She's like perfectly dodging all of my uh, things too. She must have the special ring on, you know, that lets her roll. I'm just gonna try the fire pillars again on the island. See how that goes for me. Hopefully, every single pillar doesn't miss this time, you know? Like they did that one time I tried to fight her. And, uh... Using the bright water here. Just so I can deal with her better. Get the MP back without having to worry about using items.
So, like, I don't even know where the best spot to fight her would be because, uh... I don't know which island's the largest of these. Yeah, see, what the fuck is that? Like, every single fire pillar missed. Every single one. She walked directly across one of them and nothing fucking happened. How? Why? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You're telling me not a single one of those hit her at all. <laughs> okay. She didn't even like roll. It's not like she was like dodging them. gate behind her. I'm gonna see if that leads. It leads to probably a new area. If there's more land past the gate. Because if there is, then I'll probably try to draw her there. Instead of trying to fight her on these small ass islands where it's super fucking easy to like, do you know, one step too far and all of a sudden you're like ankle deep in the sludge and can't fucking roll for whatever reason. Like, I get not being able to to roll when it's like way steep right here, but if I'm like on the very edge of one of the islands and uh, the sludge is only coming up to like my ankle, I should be able to fucking roll. <laughs> like standing right here, I should have been able to, you know, like fucking roll. Or even like right here. Like this should be, I should be allowed to roll right here, but it fucking doesn't let you. like a super big dude up here. Trying to make sure she's not like coming after me. Can I just like, I'm gonna ignore your resistance. Where does this go? Right, yeah, inspired, like, <laughs> no, we're stereos. Inspiring, you know, a slightly not as bad area. Still bad. Uh, hmm, I don't even know if this would be a better place to fight her. I'm gonna get rid of more of the little guys so I can get rid of the big dude and then see. There we go. Okay, I wonder how many soul rays kind of 
This area is a little frustrating, but no, it's like to be expected. Most of the other areas gone through so far in the game, you know, haven't been terrible. <laughs> been pretty smooth, actually. I am starting to get hungry though, so I might be uh, ending this train soon. I don't even know if, like, this would be the best place to fight her. I don't even know if I can get her to come all the way over here, though, is the thing. I'd like to get rid of this red phantom, but I don't know if she'll play nice. Need her to see me and then like fully follow me to the island. Much better. <laughs> hey, finally. Uh, some storage. Not crafting materials. Okay, cool. Uh, get rid of these as well. Nice, finally. <laughs> so that's like one last thing I have to worry about. I think that's all the items out here too. Hmm, there are items on this side. In the swamp. Yeah, but so I dropped down and get them. And it's well.
So I'm just looking, and that leads all the way up there into maybe a cave? Or is it just a bunch of platforms? That you drop back down on. That lead over here. Because of being up there still leads to being down here. I'm gonna go that way. It's actually what it looks like, so I guess I'll go back that way. Very convenient that, uh, <laughs> I guess, uh, the en enemies, uh, spawn back in because I got closer draw distance and stuff. But uh, they all had flame weapons so I could see <laughs> the platforms. Oh, I can't get back over there easily, can I? Now that I dropped. side. Okay. I really cannot get back there at all. Great. That looks like for the large dudes. You know, something tells me they're not affected by the swamp like I am, so probably shouldn't aggro them. At least not right now. I would like to find a little island to stop on <laughs> for today then. Gold armor. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I think I'll leave things here for today. Just, you know, in the middle of the swamp. <laughs> I'll probably find my way back to the other side of that tomorrow. Uh, do I have any of the archstone things? I don't. Well then I'll probably explore over this area and then um, when we get through it, go back to that side from the one arch stone so I can grab whatever items I missed. But yeah, from now on that will be it. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching stream. I always appreciate it. Thank you to any new followers today as well. <laughs> Uh, if you missed any part of stream and would like to catch up or watch any previous streams, all the VODs are up on my YouTube channel. There are links to that in the About Me sections on Twitch and on Kick. Uh, the VODs on Twitch, because you know I'm not an affiliate or partner, stay around for, I think it's like, what, a month? Maybe two? 
I forgot how long the time frame is. But they're up on YouTube permanently. So if you want to watch any old streams, watch them there. And then, yeah, if you've been enjoying my stuff and would like to support me for future stream things, you can leave me a tip over on Ko-fi. There are links to that in the About Me sections and in both chats as well. Thanks, Chungus. Uh, I'd also like to mention that leaving me a tip gets you access to my Discord server. I have a bunch of uh, different channels set up. Uh, different benefits, etc. And I also have a shop on Kofi where you can get uh, custom emotes for Discord, Twitch, and Kick. I don't know if YouTube does custom emotes, but if uh, they do, they should work there as well. Uh, they pay what you want, so you can get them for free if you'd like. There's currently three available. Uh, there's uh, Solaire, one of Solaire from uh, Dark Souls, uh, one of Onion Knight from Dark Souls as well, and then another one from, uh, it's a uh, Cachar from uh, Final Fantasy XII. So yeah, if you're interested in naming that, check out my coffee shop. Uh, <laughs> thanks again, guys, uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And I hope we do see you all for more Demon Souls tomorrow.